Hey there, this is Andy. Just wanted to give you all a quick ride report. Um, RJ and I decided to put the lowers on the R100 RS and then scouted out a pretty cool route to Jefferson, Texas to see his Aunt Merlin. We packed up the bikes, uh, left with about 67,000 miles on the bike and RJ took his carbureted GS and we had what we call a pretty epic ride. So follow along and enjoy the show. Please consider to hit subscribe and like. Um, these videos are a lot of work to produce and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. destination was a fairly short ride from Shiloh to Ortana, Pennsylvania to visit Mr. Ed's Elephant Museum and Candy Emporium. RJ got some peanuts and then we headed on out and ended up having to stay at a terrible motel. It's called Motel 79. There was a football game somewhere in the area and every hotel was booked except for this one and well it was probably the worst motel i've ever stayed in but we're motorcyclists so we just deal with it and we drive on the following morning we left motel 79 and headed to cave city kentucky Arj and I have been riding for quite a few years now and uh, it's kind of neat how we developed a concept called leading from behind whereby I will move over into the fast lane and then RJ can simply merge over knowing that I have the lane protected. This works pretty well for us. RJ is calling in to verify our reservation is valid and yes we are sleeping in a wigwam tonight. Why is wigwam village so hard for me to say as a German? Properly festooned the Wigwam Village mailbox and were treated for a very nice supermoon eclipse that evening. Jefferson Memorial and then headed on to Missouri. Of course, we had to stop at the visitor center so that RJ could get a few more maps. He only took four. And then from there, it was on to Sykeston to Lambert's Cafe where you could watch hot rolls being thrown at customers. And this was pretty hilarious. Tennessee to see the famous duck walk. This was also rather hilarious. 
and in the end we got to meet the duck master and hung out with him on the rooftop. So of course I handed it to her. She proceeded to shred it. I then neatly folded it back and placed it back into his tank bag because that's what good friends do. We stayed at Aunt Merlin's for a few days. We're spoiled with good food. Just had a wonderful time. And then we decided to head on to the BMW RA National Rally in Harrison, Arkansas, but unfortunately, RJ had bike problems. Easy, my 
I need to push you? I'm bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. Okay. Yes, I've got a, a starter problem. I really can't talk anymore because I have to bump start my bike as we go. I'm down here in Texas. So, uh, I might need you to... You, could you UPS or FedEx that thing to a motel for me? We arrived at the BMW RA National Rally in Harrison, Arkansas, pretty much without issue. Ran into some friends just as we were checking in, and later that evening, over a couple cocktails, RJ decided to take the old starter apart to see if he could determine what failed. site, hung out with some friends, including the poverty riders, and then began packing our bikes and started on our trek back east. find some good twisties on our way to the Munger Moss Motel, which is an iconic place on Route 66. We stayed there for one night and then also had a wonderful catfish dinner at Gary Dowd's. deep at all. That's barely a foot there. You know, we really could ride across that desert. Oh yeah. Yes.
abandoned thoughts of the river crossing and moved on to Fort Leonard, Missouri, where I went through basic training. That was kind of cool to see. And then we moved along to Uranus. And that's just funny, no matter how you say it. festooned the place with the party rider sticker. Yeah. <laughs> 